so hey guys we do have here wpl soft it is used to program delta plc we will see it today we do have a file we'll just create a new file let's say dvp1 you can just add a program title press ok on your left hand window you do have programming languages we have a ladder diagram sfc diagram we have instruction list and pi label list we'll just go with the ladder diagram okay so you can see we have some ribbon tools here we will use this to make our program uh, this these are the elements we will be drawing here on the screen this is our positive rung we'll, we don't have a negative rung uh, we do have inputs like uh, x0 it will range from 0 to 7 for a byte and we do have outputs ranging from um, 0 to 7 and we'll use command y okay that's for that's just for the beginning let's see we have a nc contact uh, let's see we have nc contact we have a no contact we have rising edge trigger we have falling edge trigger then we have output coil this is just the horizontal line this is vertical line this is inverse we do have then negative to positive positive or negative and this just directs the vertical line you can just simulate in the delta wpl soft by using this now you can just write to plc or read from plc you can start the operations of plc or stop the operation of plc vice versa you can go online and check if your pro program is running fine you can show comments or just hide it you can write comments uh, this is for inputs this is output this is memory this is timer this is counter this is use of move command and we'll discuss about other parts later <laughs> right now we will discuss about gates we'll just start from gates so we do have AND gate, OR gate, NOT gate uh, XOR gate, XNOR gate, NAND gate we'll just practice that so you can either choose from here right? or uh, you can type LD X0 this is our input okay consider it as a push button or something else which is an input medium and we can type out out y0 that's our output okay that's this is the coil which energizes which produces an output okay we'll just go through gates now we do have and gate what and gate does is um, if we have uh, uh, input and another input what it does if uh, both the inputs if uh, both the inputs are different we don't have an output if both the inputs are same we do have an output okay so let's just try this uh, we are here I'll just turn on the comments ldx0 ldx1 and we do have then out out y0 we'll just name this as uh, first input so i'll just go and write one this is second input so we'll just click here and edit device command and two this is uh, our and gate so we'll just type here a and d and okay and to conclude the program we do have to end add an end D and D. This will add an end. You can just save by pressing Ctrl S and it's saved. Okay, so now what we'll do is we'll just simulate this program. Click on simulator, it's online. Now click on online to, to check. Okay, so now we are online. This just shows we have stop plc we do have to run the plc we will click on this yes now the plc is online so now both the inputs are different if we give one input and other is off no output is observed as per and truth table if other input is on no output if both the inputs are on we do have an output so now i'll just go offline and we'll see next gate 
uh, now we have uh, or gate what or gate does is uh, if we have one input and another input if both are different we will not have an output if 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 both the inputs are same we will not have an output what or gate does is if what or gate what or gate does is if you have a uh, zero input and zero input will have no output it's either or or means if you have a zero and one you will have an one okay so if you have one both inputs are active you will have an output if uh, either or, or means uh, one or two of the inputs is active the output is activated so let's just try it out okay we go here we'll press ld x0 and go down control i to shift in next one ld x1 and we'll click here okay and out y1 this is our or gate if we click yes 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 we will go to hit okay now hit enter and we will have an output if both the inputs are on it's still on if one of them is on it's on now we'll just go offline control i i we'll just see the next gate now we have not gate so for not gate ld x0 then we'll use inverse and out y2 we'll just give it not or we can use uh, an anno contact that is ldi x0 and out out y2 okay so now just test out our not gate see we we don't have we don't have an input and we still have an output so now if i give an output there is no input we'll go offline and check next gate now we have uh, nor gate in nor gate uh, if you if both the inputs are off you have an output and other conditions if you have um, uh, input or other or both you will have no output let's just try it out control i control i what we'll do is we'll create a not get ld i x0 another ld i x1 and o u t out y3 and this will be our not get and o r okay so now if we go online so you can see both the inputs are off we have an output if i click here and on we do not have an output that's it for not gate we'll see next you have nine gate for nine gate uh, if you have uh, both the inputs off we'll have an output if um, one of the inputs is on we'll have an output if both the inputs are on we don't have an output let's just try it out we'll click here and yeah control i control i then we'll just type here ld x0 then another ld i x0 oh by mistake it has to be ldi i'll just go here and ldi x0 okay now we'll have to connect this to now o u t out by 4 this is our nand gate and -E -N -E. we'll just test it out now both the inputs are off if we give one input okay so have you found a mistake here i have used ldx0 on the board we we'll just have to change it now if it tried now it should be good to go see one input is on other is off we have an output if both the inputs are on we do not have an output now let's try xor gate 
for XOR gate we do have uh, when both the inputs are same there is an output when both the inputs are different we do have an output let's try it out you can do ld x0 and ldi x1 you can do ldi x0 and then ld x1 you just have to connect this both and out out y5 okay now this is our xor gate x o r okay now we'll just check it out now if both now as you can see we do have one and zero okay if we if i press one and one we do not have an output cause it's one and one means we have given both the inputs and it's not working we can go to next gate now what is it x nor x nor gate if both the inputs are same we'll have an output if both the inputs are different we do not have an output as you can see here okay so we'll just make it okay control i and then x nor gate ld x ld i x0 ld i x1 we'll just go here control i ld x0 then ld x1 we'll just connect this both and out we have y6 we'll just try it out okay so now if i give input uh, if i give both inputs it's on if one input is off another is on it's not working we just have to have both the inputs in thank you for watching this video that's it for today do practice it it will develop your logic and will help you to assess programming further thank you